my beauties today I'm gonna to be doing swatches and a review of the Tarte 15 holidays days of giving and this NARS palette so if you want to see a review and swatches of these items please stay on my channel also at the end of this review and swatches I'll also be doing a tutorial using these products so if you want to see a tutorial review and swatches um, stay on my channel and um, let's do this first of all I'm gonna start with this palette And this set includes 15 pieces together, total, and they're all full size. And the first thing I see is this Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara. So, and the wand looks like this. Also, it comes with five eyeliners. And with these, they're smudgers. So the first one is in the color bronze, and it has a really fine tip let's do swatch for this one and the next one I'm going to be swatching is in the color plum also they have really really fine tips and that's plum right there the next one I'm going to be swatching is navy and these are really pigmented and they're really soft so that's it for navy it almost looks black because it's really really dark the next one is in the color black so that's it and all of these have some smudgers in the back that was it these are the four colors I love these so much when I'm doing swatches wow these are waterproof because they don't want to come off so let me use a little bit of makeup remover yep you have to use makeup remover to remove these and the next one is this and you can pull it and so this one comes with lip glosses and three lip surgeons so these are the colors so the and first one I'm going to be swatching is this lip gloss in the color Feared and this one's nice but I feel like it's a little bit sticky so this is the color and it's actually pigmented but it's a little sticky and it doesn't have a bad scent and the next one I'm going to be swatching is exposed so this one right here is exposed the next one I'm going to be swatching is in the color adorn and this one's like a peachy pink color so that's it and the next one is in the color regal and this one is like really pink almost With some red tones that's it and the next one I'm going to be swatching is in the color Decadence and this is the one I'm actually wearing right now So that's decadence and It's this one. So those were the three swatches for these colors and they're really Really pigmented and um, I really liked them and they have sort of a minty sort of scent Okay, so the next thing I'm in, I'm going to be looking at are, and it comes with two palettes two brushes and also an eye cream I believe this one's still sealed and it's the maracuja eye brightening treatment and this is it so let me open this okay so it's a, actually a pretty good size that's it and it this one's supposed to be having all full sizes so I believe this is a full size and it's um 10 grams and let me see Mm, this one's actually I like how this one smells it has a really nice scent and it doesn't feel that thick and too heavy on my hand so hopefully it doesn't feel too heavy on my eyes either and the next thing I'm going to be looking at is this palette and it comes with six eyeshadows and one blush so let me do some swatches for these. So the first one I'm going to be swatching is in the color Confetti Cake. So that's for Confetti Cake. The next one in the Spotlight and it's also another color. And the next one is in the color Make It Toast and it's also another matte color. And this one's like a perfect color for transition. This, these do feel really soft, buttery. And the next one is Golden Years. Wow. 
look at that color payoff. I love it. And it does feel really nice, soft, and buttery. And the next one is in the color Dancing Shoes. And this one is just brown, really, like a chocolate brown color. And the next one is also another matte in the color Chocolate Martini. So this palette only had one shimmer. And this one's also like another dark brown. So it's almost the same color as the other, but a just a bit darker. The last, the last thing I'm gonna be swatching is this blush in the color Rejoice. Wow, first try that. I love these blushes from Tarte. They're so awesome. These are always really soft, buttery, and super pigmented, so a little goes a long way. So the next palette is this gray palette, and this is what I'm actually wearing right now. And the first color is in the color Pearl Twirls, and and it's also a matte. And the next color is Mix and Mingle. And this one, honestly, I didn't feel like the pigmentation was that strong. The next one is in the color Sequence and Stiletto. Also, for this one, you're gonna see the pigmentation is not there. Usually their pigmentation is on point, but this is just not doing it for me. I could barely get anything on my hand. The next one is in the color Bust a Mog. And this one didn't let me down. This one's pigmented, soft, and buttery. The next one is Saved Again. Again, soft, buttery, pigmented. And the last one is Dressed in Wines. And this one is like a really dark plum color. And this palette only had one shimmer and it really let me down. I mean, bad pigmentation. I couldn't get anything, I mean, barely any swatch. You can see that's the one right there. No bueno. And the last one I'm gonna be swatching is the blush in the color Overjoyed. And again, the pigmentations for the blushes are awesome and just barely one try and pigmentation. Soft, buttery, and I mean, the blushes never let me down, but this, uh, that shimmer just wasn't doing it for me. And now it had two brushes. And this one I'm gonna be using on my tutorial. And I really, really liked it for um, blending. So it was a really good blending brush. So let me show you. So it was really soft. And I really like the brush. And the next brush, I used it actually to highlight. And that's how it looks. So for me, I really felt that to use it as a blush brush was not really a good brush for that. But I found it more useful as a highlighter brush. And that was it for the Tarte. And now let's do the Steven Klein One Shocking Moment Cheek Studio Palette. And the packaging is just beautiful. Look at that. I love it. And it looks like this. And for the look I'm using right now, I only use the bronzer and this highlighter. So I use this color to seal my under eye concealer. And now let me do some swatches. And this isn't the Laguna, color, but it barely shows up on my hand. And the next color, wow, this one's beautiful. And this one is in the color Paloma. And that one's really nice to contour. Because I actually didn't contour, I just bronzed my face. That was all I did. And these do feel really soft and buttery. And wow, the pigmentation is like right on. And that one is in the color, I believe, Robotic. And the next one is this color right here. Wow, look at that nation. It's really soft and pigmented. So with this one, a little is gonna go a long way. Chevita, and the next one's Luster. And this one's Luster. This one right. 
then the next one is in the color Blasphemy. So hopefully I didn't get these all mixed up. But I believe this one's Blasphemy. And that's the, the color. And the last one is in the color Robotic. So I really, really love this palette. And um, look at that. They're beautiful. So I've already um, applied my foundation, my primer. And um, now I'm gonna go in with the palette. Hi guys, so I hope you guys enjoyed my review and um, this makeup tutorial and if you liked it please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and I'll leave all the details in the description box and thank you that was it for today thank you bye bye